Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, ignorant millennials. Welcome Mo to the show. Morning, everybody. Welcome to your old, your ignorant millennials. Welcome to episode number. Episode number nine. Damn, uh, we're moving. Yeah. We're yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah. We're moving. Obviously, guys, welcome to our show, Ignorant Millennials. Remember, this is the platform where you are meant to be here. Be part of the conversation where millennials and our youth are discussing very key topics and discussions that you don't want to miss out on. And Kat, today we have a very special show. Very, 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 very special very, episode. Very, we have our guest, Angela. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm well, how are you? Thank you for joining our platform. Thank you for having me. Um, so, a very special episode where we're about to engage on... So, some of the feedback we've received is that, you know, we don't discuss some of the issues that maybe our female platform members might be experiencing. And uh, we thought it would be a good time to have a chat with Angela and we're going to chat about a few things. Okay. Right? So, I mean, just for the, for the purpose of our platform, can you tell us who Angela is, what she's about and stuff? So, hi everyone. My name is Angela Mo. Mm. I have a YouTube channel of my own at yes. Angela Mo. Um, I'm originally from the East Rand, Joburg, okay. born and bred. Um, I'm a final year law student at WITS. I'm so tired of it, though, yeah. to be honest. You're, an <laughs> you're, you're a WITS alumni. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. The um, edge. I'm okay. so tired of it. Yeah. So, yeah. that's me. Okay. okay. Um, and how's your show been going? Um, I just started off started off really okay. so because i'm doing my final year in law which is not easy yes um i'm planning on actually going full force around mm. june yeah okay but there's a show there's an there's an episode up already yeah yeah there and is. Um, guys please check out the her late her, her, her first show um that was quite like so bougie and nice really <laughs> Um, uh, can, can you give them the, like the channel name? Yeah. Yeah. So it's Angela Mo. That's my name. A N G E L A. Yeah. Um, no space. Space or no space. I'll pop up. M O. Okay. okay. All right. It will appear. It will appear on the screen as well. We'll have it there for you guys as well to, to yes. check it out there. So I mean, like you're balancing a show, balancing um, final year. So what do you find yourself doing in your free time? Like travel, what do you enjoy doing? Yeah, I totally enjoy um, traveling. Yeah. In, in my spare time, I don't, I don't care where it is as long mm. as I'm like away and I get <laughs> away from Joburg. It, it gets yes. so overwhelming sometimes, yes. especially because I'm in Bram like all the time. Where the cool kids are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so it gets overwhelming. Just go away, even if it's Pretoria, yes. um, Cape Town, wherever. I just love traveling. So okay. you, you want to escape too, but I thought you said you were born and raised yeah, in Yeah, so I have. <laughs> you want to get a taste outside of yeah, that as well, I yeah, guess. Yeah, so. no. Okay. All right, all right. I need some fresh air. Okay, before we come in, quick five Q&A. Okay. Right? Yes. Um, so Michael B. Jordan or Idris Elba? Oh, Idris, even Idris. though he just got married, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know why? Yeah. <laughs> Wine. Okay. Yeah, you'll see on my Instagram there a couple Is of photos oh, okay. where I'm okay. drinking one. Um, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. Nicki. Nicki. Yeah, please, please don't hate me, but yes. I love Nicki. <laughs> so, is, you just love Nicki more or you're not a fan of Cardi B? Like Both, I feel. Ooh. Okay, this is my opinion, but I feel like um, Cardi doesn't have that much class. And huh. I feel like that's that's something that us ladies need to have. Platform, her views do not represent <laughs> our views. Take it yeah. with a pinch of salt, yes. This, you're, you're allowed to have your own opinion. Cardi's okay. a phenomenal woman. I love what she's doing, her yes. success and all of that. But if I had to choose, I'm a Nikki fan. And Nikki hasn't won a single Grammy. And like Cardi's B has won tons. That must be like Cardi spicy. B won billboards. You, yeah. most, uh, the most billboard so? albums by any female rapper. So? This past weekend. This past weekend. <laughs> so? so um, Cardi B, isn't she like the greatest female? Yeah, I love yes. what she's doing. Her success, big ups to her. But Would you say she's the, she's the greater female rapper than... I mean, we're all great. Mm. Like, and, and that's what happens, right? <laughs> you get to a point where those two are pitted against exactly. each other. Exactly. Um, is that something you think happens often? It does. Well, um, it's pretty much in the music industry, though. When yeah. Whitney Houston was um, up and coming, they mm. got Mariah Carey or whichever one came first. It, that's what happens, and it mm. happens a lot with female artists. 
Okay. So it's these big um, producers, th these music companies that are doing this, and then these women are just the face of it, really. Mm. And I, I think also with Brandy and Monica, exactly something similar exactly. would happen. Yeah. Um, but why do you think that that is the case? Do you feel like um, they also fall into it? Does it end up seeming as if we undermine them by thinking that they can only compete with each other? Um, I don't think we undermine them because they both Nikki and Cardi mm. have their own light. Nikki yes. came first, she was dominating and now Cardi is here and she's mm. also dominating. But we know, like we know what they're both capable of. Okay. We're not undermining either person. No. But I mean, Kat, I don't know if you also see it that way because we know that, um, or at least we're of the understanding that women do um, compete with each other quite strongly. I don't know if it's something you've also experienced, but Angela, is that something you also see? And outside of music, like, do you find that women directly compete with each other or it's just us as society who yeah. compete? Yeah, them against each other. I think it's society, mainly society. I don't think we go out and be like, okay, I'm going to compete with that girl. I'm going to, okay. no, we, we are all unique individuals. And I mean, surely men compete as well. It's just Definitely. the the light is more on women. And mm. so I, I hear you, Angela, and with what you're saying there. Um, so in this society, when you say that pits women against each other, yeah. is it, the males that pit these females against each other or the females that pit these females against each other? I think it's just, <clears throat> um, it's PR, guys. It doesn't matter yeah. who does it. It's for the fame. It's for, you know, any PR any is good PR. PR. Good PR. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then, are we going to say, but then do women support one another? So, regardless of the career path, mm -hmm. or just do you think women support each other enough? I think us women are just very competitive in nature. We just want the best of the best. Mm. But um, yeah, you do get some females that are very competitive, like yeah. for no reason. And you, <laughs> you'll get like a girl hating you for yeah. no reason. But that's what it is. So here's my issue there. Um, so you say, I'm gonna bring it back to your favorite artist. Mm. <laughs> so Nikki's fans, they call themselves Bobs. Yeah. Um, and mm. Cardi B is the buddy gang or something like that. Yes. I wouldn't know. So. <laughs> <laughs> the spice is coming through. Yeah, yeah. So, who do you think the large, uh, I wanted to say demographic, which would be wrong, but which gender, like, dominates in terms of the bubs? Like, you know with the beehives, when I say beehives, you think yeah. a bunch of female yes. supporters or whatever. So, with the bubs, who... Who are the bobs? Oh. She's, yeah. 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 so, yeah. like she's a bob. She's a bob. Because she's a bob, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So then, with Buddy, Buddy Gang, right? Mm -hmm. It's also females, mm -hmm. right? So, but it's the bobs that pitted Cardi yeah. against Nikki and vice versa. So that's, that's, that's for me, I feel like women don't support each other because if we're saying a large percentage of these, of these, supporters or friends mm -hmm. are females mm -hmm. and they're the ones all the time pitting like Cardi B will release a song now then they'll say Nikki's still bad yeah. or whatever mm -hmm. like but you know what with that last part that you said releasing a song um that was the case with Chris Brown and Rihanna just after the whole um mm. saga they would maybe it's just my mind but when the radio plays a Chris Brown song soon after or right away a rihanna song would play like yeah. just after chris brown would release rihanna would release so i don't think it's necessarily a gender issue mm -hmm. so it's, i i hear you as well so <laughs> i don't know so there is you know uh you said uh i don't know if you're on twitter are you on twitter no i'm not on twitter so but i'm sure you know of the, uh, that ojewa king yeah, tweet haven't no. you heard about it so there's this, yeah, so there's this like a uh, lady who posted like on Twitter like it's a tweet she says Ojo King. Uh -huh. Then a lot of people like write their all the problems and okay. issues that they like all of the problems. Like <laughs> people talk Ojoa about their dads yeah, leaving yeah, yeah, yeah. them, right, yeah. like their moms not being home, like <laughs> <laughs> very deep things and yes. we like sensitive so about. Recently that. she got verified this mm. week, for example. Then I saw a lot of females were like, Oh my god, this woman got 
uh, verified will never hear the end of it from mm. her whatever yeah. and so forth and so some, of, hate, some yeah. of them are like your social media influencers so I think it came from what I looked at is they like are you spicy now because she got verified before you guys yeah and so because mm. I pretty much that tweet got a must I think were like uh, 50,000 followers yeah. I think she's got like 50,000 followers and as well Earlier, even during the year after that, she started branded clothing for with the same. Mm. The and then she started clothing. foundation yeah. as well, yeah. Ooh. So, ladies mm. have been the negative commentary I've been seeing mostly. It, it actually has been ladies yeah. that I've been seeing that from. So, I don't know. So, it, I, I, I'm. <laughs> but you know what? Um, sometimes people wish you success until you become successful. Then yep. it's like. Yep what we yeah. were on the same level and now she thinks she's above us or she's achieved more and that's just the reality of it women will hate be it on women or men mm. but it's um i was watching the reel the other day and um tiny and shekinah were saying that the most hate that they get comes from women mm. and that's just it tiny is like, uh ti's yeah oh, okay yeah. ti's wife ex-wife yeah yeah so um women are like that we're just competitive because i mean i even i even feel like um beyond just like for women i even see it amongst black people say be it in in the corporate world right yeah so just to i don't know to get in like that little exclusive yeah. club it's like the world has almost made you feel like as the minority mm -hmm being the person that does make it in like you are this super special being yeah. and you don't want anyone else into that world yeah that's so true. i guess to your point um earlier people will be supportive until you like into that yeah. next phase and i don't know what do you think is that like have we been i guess women to an extent black people to an extent mm -hmm. do you think you've almost been put down so much um in i guess in history or in the past that now that we have certain opportunities like you want to hold on to being the only one that is able to you know make it mm, i guess so but also um in the corporate industry there's the glass ceiling yes so as a woman and you you don't break through that glass ceiling who are you left with mm. women yes and who are you going to compete against women so it just in the corporate industry, it just makes sense that black women are competing against each other. It just mm. makes sense. So, um, so is it only specific to black women? Because here's my, I'll tell you, uh, one of the companies that I've worked for before, uh -huh. bunch of males, uh, we're hired with um, a female mm -hmm. and then there, our boss happened to be a white, a white lady, yeah. right? So we get there, we find out basically she that that girl was like adored. Yeah. There's other there were other yeah. female ladies, whatever. Mm -hmm. Everything, like her career and everything else, they made sure she got she got preference basically over yeah. us. And we had the similar years of experience and everything else. Don't get me wrong, she she deserved it because she was good mm -hmm. and whatever. Right, she was great. She did, but what I think the one thing that I can say I like from that, because even uh, in terms of uh, salaries, she got a better salaries than us the males. Mm -hmm. So I think that is the one time I can say I experienced like wow, this woman is actually empowering a woman. But like in as much as me as a male figure, yeah. I was like I understood like wow, this is very rare. I've not I've not seen that. Yeah. So uh, you touched on on black women and black women. So. Yeah. Is it just limited to black women? Or? No, absolutely not. But um, with regard to what you just said about the lady, do you agree that she had to work 10 times harder than you guys or the men that she was? It's debatable. Mm. It's debatable. So mm. how, how would she have worked 10 times harder? Mm. Because of the glass ceiling, guys. What glass ceiling? Typical. That's so what typical about of a, a man. What about, a firm, what about affirmative action, right? So, yeah, okay. Um... Let's say, let's say white South Africa is now seeing the impact of affirmative action and how maybe more room is being made for yeah. black people to enter the corporate world. But you're also seeing that advantage additionally being given to black females, right? So 
you'll find that more doors are opening up. Like, for example, if there's a guy and a girl, um, they're like, we prefer the female. So to your question now, do we feel like she's had to work twice as hard? Maybe back in the day, yes. But you are seeing now, I guess to address some of the social imbalances created by the past, that more opportunities are being given and you are seeing some people progress by virtue of being black or by virtue of being a female, which is necessary, but that is what you're seeing happen now. And in your opinion, what do you think about that? Is it okay? Are you supportive of it? I am definitely supportive of Mm -hmm. it, Um, but I don't think that's happening on a large scale. On a large scale. I don't think it's that much of a big thing that, you know what, it is what it is, and women are working, ten, we have to work 10 times harder than men. That's, that's just what it is. What is it like to prove your worth? Or you just, what is that? Do you think it's something that women feel amongst themselves? Or the environment requires women to work twice as hard to be equally recognized? I'd say the environment. Mm. I, um, you know what? I was dealing with a case recently, a labor case, where a black woman was dismissed because, Mm. um, you know, she was she was told that you're only here because of regulations. You're just here because um, we have to have a black female. So there are instances where that happens, where um, men just hire women for the look, which then I would argue that this affirmative action is not happening on a greater scale for females. Okay. It makes sense that way. Yeah. So, okay. So, in terms of um, what you say about being hired because of uh, affirmative action, yeah. and whatever, because you're female, we need the numbers. I think males as well experience the same thing. So, yeah. it's not, if you're black, it's not, Im- like, you, it's not immune to anybody. Both yeah. males and females experience that. Um, but I think you actually raised a valid point because from what I've seen is the way women, the reason, one of the reasons women are undermined is because when I hired you, there is a certain level of sexual appeal, as you say, and I, we, we as men, well, not all men, we tend to objectify women Yes. as, as such. So, um, that very much, I, I've pretty much seen. And yeah. I, I don't Do you think know. that happens even with hi- with hiring? Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I saw a video on Twitter, my boyfriend's Twitter, yeah. where um, some lady, I don't know who she is, but she was like um, rallying the fact that she had to s- s- sleep with um, her manager to get a promotion. Oh. And if she didn't, um, they dismissed her. She didn't. They dismissed her. And then she was protesting naked in the street. Oh, wait. Remember? Isn't that, yes. Is this yes. in Parliament? Yeah. No, Parliament of Union Buildings. buildings. Yes. Okay. UNISA. So, yes. The yes. UNISA oh, thing. UNISA. Yes. So, I saw that, yeah. do you understand how we have to go to a large extent for you to recognize Damn. that, you know what, I'm being treated to, like this. I'm being mm. subjected to this. And now I have to protest naked in the street to get your attention. I mean, look, you raise, that is very, wow. Because I think, as a, as a male in corporate myself, right, I think I'm aware that yeah. these types of issues exist, but I, I didn't know it, like to what extent or yeah. how frequent or how wide it, it affects females in corporate. So I'm even thinking now, for all I know, the lady that is maybe on our CA program or just in the organization that I work in, yeah. How much of that are they feeling on a day-to-day yeah. basis? And yeah. I guess as males, I don't know if it's a, a matter of do we talk about it enough? Um, but it's not are about... We open, are we open or rather do, fem- do females feel comfortable that you can have those conversations with guys and say, hey, look, this is what's happening. Like um, this goes on or do maybe females feel like this is too maybe embarrassing mm-hmm. to talk about. I feel like we do talk about it, okay. but it just takes someone to hear us, like some a male figure to hear mm-hmm. us because they are so influential. What about maternity know? leave? What about it? 
like the number of days that a, a, a female can get off versus the number of days a male can get off. What do you think about that? So I think in, in acknowledging the, the disadvantages that women face in the workplace, mm-hmm. can we discuss the benefits that women do have when it comes to, I think it's what, it's three or four months? So are you saying me going on maternity leave is a benefit? I'm saying by virtue of being a woman, mm-hmm. when you've had a child, you are afforded more days off at the workplace mm-hmm. than a man would. Do you feel like it is okay? Should it be equal? Um, what should the, be equal? The number of days a guy can get off if he has a newborn and wants to take care but of But hold it. on, isn't the, the period... Yeah. So you get some days off or the, the period off while you're still pregnant, right? Just before you're about to give birth, you're mm. gonna get a few months off, if I'm mm. not mistaken. I think you get like three or four months, yeah, but four you months. choose when to, like, to take it. Yeah, so yeah. you can take it like one month be before, before mm-hmm. or the week before, before, but those are your yeah, days. Yeah. And males, I think they've, they've increased it now. I think it's like Fraternity. a couple of days or weeks, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. But the point is, it's not equal. And I want to get from your view, Yeah. To what extent can we push for equality in, in the workplace? Does it need to go as far as that? Um, as making those cool. number of days equal? I what if there are, there's a gay couple, yeah. right? A uh, homosexual couple, they just had a, a newborn, maybe it was a surrogate or however they do it. Yeah. They no. would not be afforded that many days off. Oh, actually, there was a case, yeah. so I just don't know the name, where... Um, the one male, mm. the one who was going to take care of the child, was given paternity leave mm. that was longer than the um, other male. Yeah. But I don't think it's necessary. Why would it be necessary for males to get the same amount of time off as females? To take what? care of the, the child and bond with the child. Oh, really? Like, yes. What was yes. maternity leave yes. about? I to don't... help the woman, like... With the child at home. If yeah, I want to be yeah. the person after my child is born, I want to, you know, experience those first couple of days without worrying about work. Is that not a benefit that I deserve? You have it, just not to the extent that the woman has it. So to what extent do we fight for equality in the workplace? Mm. Gender equality. It's something to think about. Mm. Um, yeah. it's worth it. What do you think, Dimac? There's a medical issue as well. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Fair. Fair. So, yes. obviously, she needs a lot more time to recover as a female. Female. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's actually worth considering. Then, when we talk about the medical side of it, Casta Semenya yeah. recently had a court ruling that worked against her in that she needs to take certain medication to reduce yeah. her testosterone levels. What are, your, what are your thoughts? That's completely unfair. That is, that is disgusting, unfair. right? I mean, yeah, I think, I think. I mean, the current world record holder, if, if I'm not mistaken, l- she looks very masculine. Yeah. And I haven't heard, like, noise around that. Michael Phelps, apparently, there's something in his body where, in his body where genetically he has an advantage that allows him yeah. to perform better. And now you start wondering. Yeah. And apparently they praised the fact that, sorry, they mm. praised the fact that he, he has such a competitive advantage because something is lower than all the other um, competitors. But with Custer, it's just like, why? It's so unnecessary. Yeah, I think it's not even about like, you don't have to go and use uh, special cases like your Michael Phelps and mm. whatever. I mean, like, if me and Bafana were to like uh, yeah. race against each other, um, obviously I'd beat him. But like for, this, <laughs> for the sake of this uh, mm. argument, him being um, vertically yeah. more inclined than me, uh-huh. right? If you were to beat me, I could raise that as an argument. Yeah. Or if you are taller than the average height mm-hmm. of male in South Africa or whatever around the world, like. Yeah. I, it's just, there's, there will never be an equal. Somebody has yeah. something that somebody else doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Because the ruling is so, um, it's so new, it's so recent, I actually get very upset about it mm-hmm. because 
like it's just unfair black women just go through mm. so much this is this is a, it's unfair yeah so it is very very unfair but I, I think she did very well in terms of I mean if you look yesterday she ran and uh, she she won the 800 meter mm-hmm. she set a record as well and uh, yeah she, shout out to Kirsten yeah. I mean, like on the just like all this noise is happening in her life and she just yeah. like sorts it out with a solid win like so yeah. congratulations to her and I think there's a lot of like young females that stand to benefit to be encouraged or motivated by how she's dealing with the whole um, process of the ruling yeah because it is I can only imagine like how difficult it must be in her yeah. per- and it's been happening for years now yeah right? that like can't be easy at all yeah. so I mean now that you know you're gonna finish um, your your year in, in, in law and someday now into that corporate world how do you think I don't know maybe what are like the pay differences um, when it comes to um, starting out, do you think, what are the mechanisms that you think are in place for women or just new entrants into corporate world to make it fair or rather be comfortable that you're being paid fairly by doing the, for doing the same work as a male or as a female? Do you think, do you have enough mechanisms to know that? No. I don't think, I mean, if I go into the workplace with you, um, mm. first year of articles, how am I supposed to know how much you're earning? Mm. Like, there's nothing that's going to tell me that we're earning the same amount. There's nothing that's going to verify that. So you just, um, I don't know. How do you feel about, if I say men should, and men earning more than women kind of makes sense because men are perceived to be providers. No. And... Um, once a, like if you and I for hypothetically if you and I studied the same sh- same thing we worked at the same company we started dating and we we end the same there is that thing you know like we we it's always perceived that the man must be the provider earning more whatever and so even if even if not earning more he ha- he is the one who as a man you Men, there's a certain level of expectation financial on a male, generally. like from society as from a whole. Society. Okay, yeah. so why would you say that <laughs> was to cover for that? Oh, is it a for, spicy, it's, yeah. for that gap or whatever? Because it's generally no, there. No, no, I disagree. First of all, there are um, same sex couples, like you said, so we can have two females. Um, which means they're both at a disadvantage. Oh, okay. um, my mom had me when she was 17, and she's mm. been a single parent ever since so you can't say men are the the head of the yes. family like some fa- some households don't have men okay okay um we were, we were chatting about this recently at work mm-hmm. someone was like you know i really wish there was like leave granted for females when it's around that time of the month because for some people it's like debilitating levels of yeah. pain and like you're not going to be able to function yeah. at your normal um, or, op- or as optimally as you could. And you don't want, for example, at the workplace being now that because you're a female, ah, you know, she's not performing at her best because, you know. So mm. do you think there's room for to offer a woman that day? But then again, it's a double-edged sword because now it's like yeah. because you're a female, we have to be like... yeah. You know. So that makes no sense to me. Mm. I don't agree with it because, first of all, we want higher yeah. pay. Okay. We want to be paid the same as men, but then you want seven days off. Mm. How does that work? Um, no. So not necessarily a seven days per se. Like one or two. Because from I'm yeah. no I'm no a female, but from generally what I've heard from females is the first two days mm-hmm. it's or whatever. Horror. It, it's Death. pure horror. Yes. Like sick leave. So you know, like you you know, you'll have additional sick leave mm. to cater for like let's say on top of their net no more sick leave for women they'll give them two extra days every month you all just want to kill the economy <laughs> like what yeah. you want days off for being on your cycle you want paternity leave to be longer like who must work <laughs> who must work okay so i mean so and those are the types of discussions that we have because i mean as as guys 
I might not know how bad it actually gets. Yeah. Like, yeah you know, when my colleague is at yeah. work, it's just like, oh, my head, my head, my tummy. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, can you do this presentation for me? I'm not okay. Mm. I don't know how bad it is. So. An, uh, Angela, like, we're talking about evening things, right? So, yeah. am I wrong in saying that as a female, right, you at a, a disadvantage when it's that time and you in severe pain your concentration levels your your performance might not be a game or whatever because for example even because i've there's, there's literally there's people like who the pains are so severe like literally they even walking or whatever yeah. it's unbearable mm. so if we're talking about evening things a male does not experience that I every month. Oh. <laughs> so if we're talking about even in the scale should we not have that I don't think so, because at the same time, we want to be paid the same amount as a male counterpart. counterpart. So then are you saying that, you know, we have to then acknowledge that there are some biological differences, differences that do yes. affect, but then we cannot then move for like, let's be equal, yeah. but still say, hey, give us yeah. that benefit because yeah. we are still so females. I, I, I wonder, I ask myself, so, you know, like w- when you write in exams and all these stuff, mm-hmm. so... I can imagine, like, I've written an exam when I was sick, a uh, headache, I had a severe, severe headache and sick. Yeah, and like, on the same level it, as periods. <laughs> it's not, yeah, periods are, extre- are more extreme, right? Okay. So what I'm saying is, I think, like, so this is not only confined, per se, to even that, like, uh, work areas, per se, like, even at a school level, because that pain can be mm. like, very excruciating. Yeah, and yeah. It, it's basically... You in that pain and me being in a happy mood and writing, like that's my annoying. First of all, when <laughs> it's that time and you're all happy, yeah. it's annoying. Yeah, so um, I have a greater advantage than you. So I think I think it's something of consideration. Okay, it is worth considering. And uh, Angela, mm-hmm. I think you've shed a lot of light today on things we we may, we not have considered. And I think sometimes we make decisions on behalf of women yeah but um now we're about to catch you said you wanted to do something yeah so, uh, with um, angela we uh <laughs> we uh we actually want to end things on a light note but yes. before i actually get to the actual light 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 note or the interesting part mm-hmm. um while we're still on women i just want to gather your thoughts on uh babes and mum binger um, I don't know if you are aware, they released a track yesterday. Uh-huh. They did it together. And in light of, um, of everything that's been happening. Mm. And context for our platform, so Babes recorded or posted that video where she was like slapped yeah. by yeah. Mom Pinja, her boyfriend at the time, or whatever they were. And then there was a court cases, and then boom, the song yesterday. Yeah. Thoughts? Um, I just think she suffers from the battered woman syndrome. Hmm. Do you guys know what that is? You can share with us. So, like, it's just, I think she's playing with us. You think so? She's playing us, I think. But I mean, I could be. This but could he's be very really beating her up. Why is she back? Because of the syndrome. syndrome. What is the syndrome? What is so, the syndrome? So, like, it's you just going back to a person who's abusing you like just as a woman you feel just you know i beat you up no yeah. i do it because i love you you okay. know i without me you're nothing all the negative things and then it's like no but i love you okay. i take care okay. of you you wouldn't have this without me so then what must we do so me as a consumer of babes music and i follow it and I, like i was pissed when all this happened i was supporting her uh-huh. mom pincha you're a pig and now i see this what what must happen so but, what happens to people who looking at this that's the same with having a friend if you have mm. a friend who keeps going back to an abusive boyfriend or girlfriend what do you do you support them you try and tell them like yo he's doing you dirty but yeah she's your friend i'm just like, my feelings are mixed on this i don't <laughs> like to you guys yeah. like uh, <laughs> i don't know how to feel about both mm. of them um but yeah that's our take better women yeah. said i i didn't know this oh. yeah um, <laughs> Personally, Interesting bit. It's it's just one of those that's I actually agree with Angela uh, about better woman syndrome. But yeah, I think what we can do is just emphasize that she needs to seek help or yeah. or, or, or when she feels her life is threatened, mm. call the cops or whatever. 
there's nothing else more we can do because I think it's just the case of mind your own business and continue. And, and yeah, like, okay. like, cause nah, just let them be. Yeah, just let them do like thing, you, yeah. the best. Maybe you can do is like, yo, if this happens, they remember there's cops and whatever. And we call, call me when you need help. Yeah, because has she called us for help? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some say the video was a cry for help by her, mm-hmm. but. But then, mm-hmm. how would you feel if she calls you for help and then the next day she's back in his bed? Like, I'm minding my own business. I'm staying away from this because I don't know the whole story yet. I, I don't know. Like, because now you go all out of your way and yeah. you just like support her and protect her. You're like, my bitch is a dick. And then now you've ruined that relationship between you and him or you. Why, why was there a relationship between you and him if he's beating up? So when she goes back to him, yeah. now to him or in that relationship, yeah. I'm the person that dislikes this guy. So it causes the What's tension. What's wrong with that? But it causes tension with me as an external person in that relationship. So rather I remove myself entirely and to your point, support her if she needs to yeah. and be there for her. That doesn't change, but I don't want to interfere into that relationship Until anymore. she's dead, hey? So a lot of... These things are mostly in society because I know even with them it was a thing about the DMs that caused uh, this particular issue. So as, as those are yes, those are those are interesting bits that you wanted to ask Angela Because that's today. how this whole thing started. Because yes. he was like he's seen the DMs, he's cheating, whatever. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's how it started. Or even though it, it might not be specifically how it started, but it stems from cheating or mm-hmm. whatever. That was what the word that's going around. So as part of closing out. Mm. We would like you uh, to end things on an interesting note. Uh, is tell us who your last two DMs are from. Ooh. If you <laughs> want to as well. People's souls are about DMs. to. People's souls are about to die. <laughs> so I mean, because of a number of reasons, people slide in. So yeah. we want to. What What are people saying? They're in so DMs? confident. Like, what are they saying? So, so, so confident. Are we gonna read like the names? Okay, let's let's. Respect. Oh, okay. you want to read names? No, no, let's not do names. <laughs> But, uh, oh. <laughs> okay, this person just said, you're so beautiful. Okay. okay. Let's get to the recent one. Okay. Hey there. I like your pictures. They're beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, this one is having a convers- like a whole <laughs> conversation. Hello. How yeah. are you, dear? And then again, hello, lady. Yes. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but what? Like, do guys not take a hint? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Is it like a... She'll respond someday. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's like you can see I'm not responding. You can see I read it and I'm mm. not responding, but you just keep mm. coming at it. So to everyone who's out there auditioning in people's DMs and they're not getting responses, do you want to share like a little bit of advice uh, to just, them? Just move on. Just, just move, move on. on. <laughs> not there. Move on. Guys, thank you for tuning into uh, our show today. Um, thank you very much Angela thank you so much for chatting thank you for I hope you enjoyed yes. um, the chat the yes. platform is very fortunate to have very you join intriguing. and um, what do you think like in the light of everything we've discussed today that maybe issues or rather things from a female perspective that you'd like to put out there for us to consider be it in the workplace be it in relationships just yeah. what should we be considering that as, as um, I as don't want to put it in a category mm, and yeah. say females but i just wanted to be out there that you know what we're all individuals and Mm. we're all dealing with our own problems we we all have our little demons our issues just be nice to the next person be nice Mm. support them when they achieve something Mm. like smile smile if you see a pretty girl Mm. just I like your jean. I like what you're wearing. Be nice. Mm. Or even I'm not a pretty girl. They're not pretty girls deserve that Everyone's (laughs) pretty. Nice one. On that note, yes. Thank you. Let's wrap it up. Guys, thank you. Subscribe, like, share. Please comment. Till the next one. Bye. Cheers.